We all have a role in this. Let's defeat coronavirus together. COVID-19 has killed nearly 2 million people, and you may know someone who was affected by it. Scientists and medical industries have put all efforts and resources in developing vaccines against this lethal virus. Vaccines are very important in stopping this pandemic. COVID-19 vaccines are new, but our knowledge and technology to make safe and effective vaccines has been getting better over the past 200 years of vaccine history. Some vaccines against COVID-19 are already in use, and many more are being developed. Getting a vaccine is your choice. I will share with you what we know right now about COVID-19 vaccines so you can make a well-informed decision for yourself. Let's answer some common questions. Dr. A, how do vaccines work against COVID? To understand this, let's first see how COVID virus attacks our body and how our body fights it. The virus enters the body through nose and mouth by small droplets and quickly attaches and hides in the cells lining the nose and lungs. Inside the cells, the virus uses its machinery and materials to make more copies of itself. Then the virus can infect more and more cells. Our immune system has two types of teams. The first line of defense is called innate immunity and the second is specialized target killers called adaptive immunity. The cells in the first line of defense are like safety patrol. They are always on high alert and ready to catch any new virus or bacteria that enters the body. These cells are everywhere. Once they detect an attack from COVID virus, they try to fight it, but they don't have special weapons needed to effectively get rid of the virus and keep you from getting sick. This is where the second team comes in. They receive the captured and broken parts of the virus from the first team and start making special weapons to fight it. These weapons are antibodies and killer cells specially designed for this virus. This process takes time and the virus gets a chance to make more and more copies of itself and make the person sick. Eventually, the immune system defeats the virus and body works to heal itself. Our immune system has good memory. Now it knows how to fight this virus next time. It can make the special weapons and antibodies much faster. Vaccines prepare the immune system against COVID before the virus attacks. There are different ways to make vaccines. Some contain virus that is damaged or dead. Some have pieces of virus and some of the new vaccines have pieces of DNA or mRNA in them. The mRNA vaccines send a temporary message inside the cells to make only a single part of the virus called spike protein. This message is then destroyed. By getting vaccines, our body is exposed to parts of the virus that activate our immune system without getting the actual infection. Special weapons, antibodies, and cells are made. This way the body is prepared to fight with the battle plan when a real virus attacks. How safe and effective are COVID vaccines? All vaccines must go through stages of careful research before they can be given to public. They are first tested in labs and animals, and then on small number of people to know what dose is effective and safe. Then they have to go through large research studies that includes thousands of people of different ages. The participants are monitored to see how many get infected with COVID and if they develop any side effects from the vaccine. Keep in mind, people who are vaccinated can still get COVID infection, but they will be able to fight it quickly and their symptoms may be mild or unnoticeable. Many vaccines are being developed all over the world and they all go through these steps to check for their safety and effectiveness. Let's take a look at two new vaccines by Pfizer and Moderna that are being used in the US and other countries. Both of these are mRNA vaccines. Over 70,000 people participated in research studies of these two vaccines. Half of them were given vaccine and the other half were monitored for comparison. Over the next two to three months, only 19 people in the vaccine group got COVID, whereas 347 people got it in the group that was not vaccinated. These vaccines were found to be 95% effective, which means that for every 100 people who got COVID in the unvaccinated group, 
only five got it in the vaccination group. This is very impressive and promising. After getting a vaccine, most people felt pain and soreness at the site of the injection. Almost half of them felt fatigue, mild headaches, fever, or chills. This is because the immune system is working and responding to the vaccine. You can take one to two tablets of Tylenol or Panadol every six hours as needed for body aches and fevers. These symptoms will go away in two to three days. There were no serious side effects caused by the vaccines. A small number of people develop allergic reactions to the vaccines. These reactions may be mild or severe. These were seen in people who already had issues with severe allergies. So if you have allergies to any part of the vaccine, then discuss with your doctor before getting it. Dr. A, what information is still not known about the new COVID vaccines? Our knowledge about these vaccines will continue to grow with time. For right now, there are few things we don't know. Number one, the research studies did not include pregnant women and children. So if you are pregnant, then discuss the latest recommendations about vaccines with your doctor. Number two, the study participants were mostly from United States. As these vaccines get used more and more, we will learn if there are any differences in effectiveness in other parts of the world and in large groups of people of different ethnicities. Number three, right now we don't know how long the immunity will last after getting a vaccine. It may be lifelong, like the measles and hepatitis B vaccine, or it may be for one or few years, like with influenza and pneumonia vaccine. Number four, the current data shows that these vaccines are very safe in the short term. The research participants and the people who are getting the vaccines will be monitored for long-term safety as well. Number five, we are now seeing new strain of COVID virus. It is not surprising as many viruses change over time. It is not clear how much this virus will continue to change and how effective the current vaccines will be for the new strains. Dr. A. Do people who already got COVID need to be vaccinated? Once a person recovers from COVID infection, their body has immunity to stop another infection for at least three months. Currently, we do not know how long this immunity will last. It may be different in different people. So you should consider getting a vaccine if it has been three months or more since you have had a COVID infection. If I get a vaccine, do I still need to follow precautions? We know that these vaccines are effective in protecting the person against COVID infection, but it is possible that the person can still carry the virus and spread it to others. So even if you have received a vaccine, continue taking precautions by wearing a mask when others are around. Keep a safe distance and wash hands frequently to keep others safe. Our knowledge about vaccines will continue to grow as more and more information becomes available. If you have more questions, Please put them in comments and we can address them in our next video. Share this video with others and subscribe to our channel for more cool stuff. Stay healthy and help others stay healthy.